can instantly see the game of Zheng Xinwen, those incredible ground strokes. It's a, a big hit from the back of the court, but you can also see the technical weakness, and that is on the serve. We'll have, uh, we'll have a good look at that over the course of this match. It's been much talked about in terms of uh, Zheng Qinwen's tactics and, and technical. Yeah, the serve is always an important aspect of Zhang's game because that's where she can create so many opportunities for herself. And when that's working well, she's able to step up and, and look to attack that next ball. And that's her game. She likes to be aggressive, likes to try and take that next ball inside the baseline and get her opponent in trouble right away. Well, that is a very composed start from Zheng Qinwen on her United Cup debut. I mentioned the serve there. It is, it's a good serve when it goes in. I think what's much discussed about it is technically, it's not very compact, is it? There's, there's a lot that can go wrong. And a lot of people were wondering, Jill, if she would make any changes to it in the off season. Can, can you see any evidence of that? Well, it's interesting because when you watch it in slow motion, it looks a, a little bit smoother than when you watch, watch it in, in real time. She has like a little bit of a hitch on, on the backswing. And I think it just, changes the rhythm it stops the rhythm a little bit and you want to be able to make sure that serve can flow smoothly and uh, on that slow motion as well when she takes her right arm back her arms pretty straight back and if you watch a, a lot of the best servers out there that elbow tends to get a little bit lower so i think that's something that that could improve a little bit on the serve Uh, she held, held that forehand well. Zhang just froze Von Drusfa at the baseline. This is tremendous hitting and depth from uh, Zhang Chimwen from the back of the court here. Not a lot that Von Drosheva can do about this. That's great returning, just good depth on the return was immediately got Von Drusheva in trouble. Got a good trajectory on the return as well. Nice height over the net. Was not expecting that at all from Zhang. I don't necessarily associate her with uh, that kind of variety, but she has had a whole off season to work with. 
And that's the time that you do try and add more tools to your game. It's very, it's very rare that you see her inside the court and opt for that slice, but you could see it completely caught Von Drusova by surprise. Yes, yeah, stunning start from the 21-year-old. Can she keep this up? Two love and serving. I don't know what you think, Jill. Is this evidence of it, it being a first meeting? Von Drosheva just struggling to adjust a little bit to the, the weight of the, the Zhang ball? Yeah, sometimes it can, it can take a while, but I feel like Zhang has gotten off to an incredible start. I mean, that's what we were talking about when we saw her a couple of years ago. She had that power, but it was the consistency that she needed to work on, but she's really cleaned up that part of her game. <laughs> in the zone just now. <laughs> I'm certainly sitting courtside. You can see the, the placement of the ball from Zhang, the depth. It's The balls are landing just inside the baseline, whereas off the racket of Von der Rusova, they're landing on the service line. So automatically, Von der Rusova is on the back foot. And the pace that Zhang can create off that racket has been impressive so far. Oh, that's an excellent serve. Put a little bit extra spin on that serve just to create more of an angle. Really went to the shorter part of the court as well. Caught Andrusova just a little bit further behind the baseline. 11 points to one. Wow. <laughs> Those are a contrasting starts. Let's put it that way. Well, this is unplayable from the 21-year-old Chinese player just at the moment. An incredible start. Three love. She leads the Wimbledon champion. Just incredible hitting from Zhang Chinwen. And Boyana, you're down, down at courtside. You can see not just the weight of the ball, but the trajectory of it over the net, it strikes me that she's able to hit with this fearsome power, but there's also a lot of margin for error built in. Oh, absolutely. You can see the ball clear the net by a good two or three feet. And she's not looking to hit the lines on the court. She's just hitting her spots perfectly at the moment. And you both touched on earlier, it's that consistency. And she's off, she's off to a great start. And now for her, it will be whether she can maintain that level for not only the set, but the whole match. But she's off to a flying start. She looks confident, and she's taking her time in between points, whereas I find Fonda Rousseau is really rushed. She seems like she's just going from point to point and hasn't quite found her rhythm. So it might just take her a little bit longer to find herself in this first set. I remember once working with a colleague of ours, Daniela Hantikova, and she said she hated making too good a start because in her mind, she would start thinking, Gosh, there's only one way it can go from I mean, here. Yes, I, I think a lot of players can, can relate to that because you're playing so well and you automatically feel like, okay, your opponent's going to find themselves, they're going to start playing a little bit better. Sometimes it can take time. Yeah, what can Marketa Vondrosheva do? What defenses can she put up against this hitting? from Zhang Chinwen. Let's find out. Love three looking to get on the board here.
Well, she's doubled her points tally. <laughs> <laughs> so every little helps at this stage. You take what you can get. <laughs> <laughs> Have to start somewhere, right? do about that kind of hitting yeah I, I i do really feel like i mean boyana um, mentioned it the depth is going to be so important for von druseva and i think also she's going to have to step up and sometimes take her chances maybe flatten the ball out a little bit that's not her natural go-to shot on the forehand because she likes having that heavier loop ball that can be so effective but right now it's giving Zhang so much time to set up and attack Again, showing that she's trying to incorporate a little bit more into her game as a second drop shot attempt. Made the first one on the forehand side. That one just cut it a little bit too fine. That is the tougher end to serve from, isn't it? So uh, certainly over the course of the next hour or so, maybe uh, expect one or two double faults from both players serving down that end. Just gotten a little bit rattled, I think, Van Drusva at this point. Yeah, she looks shaken. Doesn't she? A point here for a four love lead for the Chinese. Wow, okay, four love it is. The Wimbledon champion is barely winning points so far. She just has not got a handle on the Zhong Chin Wen ball. Maybe she needs to uh, remind herself of happier times. This is that uh, tattoo I referenced earlier. She, she said that uh, if she won Wimbledon, she would uh, get a tattoo to remember it by. And she decided to get the date, and I think that's on her arm. I kind of like that because it's subtle. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it could, ju it just looks like a, a, a number, but if you know, if you didn't know the date, it would just look like a number, but I think I like that it's subtle. There's room for more as well. <laughs> There's room for a lot more. Yeah, if you get if you get a tattoo that takes up your whole arm, that's kind of saying I'm expecting this to be a one off. Well, that was I mean, it was a lovely drop shot from Von Joshua, but before that, it sounded like she was making a, a better connection with the ball off the ground, too. I think she's got a lot of more pace right away off, off that return. And that's what I was mentioning earlier. I think she's going to have to go for a, a little bit more because right now Zhang's like, liking the time on that loopier ball. So good small adjustment there from Von Drusseva. Okay, an opening on the Zhang serve. So important for Von Drusva just to get herself on the board here, just to settle those nerves and almost just find her way back into this first set. You can see she's trying to get her feet going. She's trying to get herself energized. Right to be frustrated there, Vondrushova, because uh, 
And that was in the hitting zone. Looked like it was a little bit further out in front, but handled it well. Really flattened that serve out. A ton of pace on that serve. Well, I know we touched on and we were talking about her technique earlier on, but at the moment, what's been impressive from Zheng's serve is not only her ability to get a lot of pop off that first serve, but it's also that variety. She has the ability to flatten it out, but also slice and spin, which really keeps Fonderusa on her toes. One of, one of the things I feel like that is a huge part of Andre's first game is how well she can defend. That's something that stood out to me a lot to that Wimbledon title. Also watched quite a few of her matches in Cancun at the WTA finals at the end of this year. And her defensive skills are amazing. They just She just constantly gets the ball back, forcing the opponent to hit one extra shot. And I think that's going to be important for her in this match, for her to, for her to try and get back into this first set. Maybe right here, she has a first break point. And finally, the one shot that yeah. she was the most balanced on. Yeah, she made the tough ones, didn't she? And missed the, uh, missed the easy one. I mean, she showed great defense there. And it's amazing how much she's able to get that ball on the baseline as well. Just understands the length of the court so well. Good serving from Zhang. Great precision. And this is a point for a five love lead. Truly a dream start for the 21 year old. She is right in the zone, is Zhang Chinwen. It's all going in. It's all in the purple patch. She leads the Wimbledon champion five games to love in this opening set. So the Chinese team enjoying their time in Western Australia just now. If they have any time off, maybe they'd like to go to the uh, WA beaches. Lucky Bay, Cottesloe Beach, Scarborough, Broome, Rottnest Island. Of course, Jill and I have got big plans to go and see the quokkas at Rottnest. I cannot wait. And just seeing those kangaroos along the beach. I mean, does that really happen? That was a beautiful <laughs> picture. That's amazing. Yeah, everyone talks about how crystal clear the waters are in all these beaches in Western Australia. So it's... Pretty nice. Don't be fooled, we have sharks. <laughs> don't don't mention the S word, <laughs> Rihanna. I tell you what, Scarborough, Western Australia looks pretty different to uh, Scarborough, UK. <laughs> Let me tell you. But they both have beauty in their own way, <laughs> I'm sure. Different gravy, <laughs> certainly at this time of year anyway. 
That is a very relaxed looking Chinese team, isn't it? And uh, just as Zheng Xinwen's left there, no, her right, our left, as you look at it, that is Para Reba, her coach. And uh, this is the second incarnation of their relationship. It's actually been um, quite an interesting coaching journey for Zheng Xinwen. The Chinese player was working with Wim Fissette throughout most of 2023. And uh, when Naomi Osaka announced her comeback after having her daughter, Fissette decided to jump ship and get back together with Osaka. And uh, Zheng was uh, a little miffed about that. Lovely strike once again on the backhand. Yeah, she was a little miffed and she channeled that in the most positive way imaginable. She used it as fuel to clinch the Asian Games title. And she's had her best results yet since then and joining back together with Pera Reba. Yeah, it was back in 2021, I think, where she first started working with Pera Reba and did exceptionally well well with him, Pararipa able to get her from outside the top 100 into the top 30, so they had great results, and luckily enough, Pararipa obviously, who had been working with Coco Goff. Oh, that, oof. With that signature it, shot that she's known for, she'll I, start making those for sure. I was so sure that was going I over, know. because they always do evidence that it's uh, it's not her day so far Dear, oh dear. Well, that's just a straight up unforced error, Jill. You can't blame the good play of Zhang Chinwen for that and perhaps evidence that she's she's got in her head. Yeah, I think so. It's just lack of footwork getting up to that ball in that last shot. Set point down after 23 minutes. Not a nice bit of depth from uh, Von Drusheva this time. To save the first of these two set points. One more to come. There's that movie ball that I, I feel like is such a great play for her, but it looks like it has a little bit more heaviness to it now. She's swinging a little more freely the last few points, and I think that's a good play for her, that high up high ball to the backhand side of Zhang. That's a tough ball to get aggressive on. Starting to get a few unforced errors from the Zhang racket. She is human, after all, <laughs> somewhat reassuring. And it's a point here for Von Drusheva to get on the board. And she does. Somewhat muted celebration. That's not the kind of applause that she uh, she wanted to be getting, but you have to start somewhere. It's nice to see her give a little smirk there, though. <laughs> Just <laughs> recognition that finally was able to get on the board. I think she's got a wry sense of humor. Yeah. Andre Chavert. But it is still a mountain to climb, and Zhang now coming out to try and serve for this opening set.
great to hear from you. I think that's smart too. I mean, she's got into the backhand side pretty consistently of Van Drusova. And if you can get her on the stretch, that go-to return is pretty much a slice and it's hard to get that one deep. And you can see Zhang after that particular serve is staying up on the baseline and anticipating a little bit of a shorter reply. Too tempting, wasn't it, to go for the big one down the line? She almost has to just start swinging a little bit more, Von der Rusova. She's been off the back foot for the majority of this first set, so I actually don't mind her just trying to take a little bit more of a stance against Zhang. Those defences doing the job again. I was actually surprised Zhang didn't take the first one out of the air. It just gave Andrew some time to get settled at the back of the court. And it was the right play for her to take that next one. Just, again, knowing that Andrew Sva can hustle down so many of these balls just adds a little bit of extra pressure to that shot. From the sound the ball makes hitting her racket, you can feel the way to the shot. She really leans into that that backhand nicely, and I think what's so effective of Zhang's game in particular is the discrepancies between the forehand and the backhand side. She has that heavy spin on the forehand side and then can really flatten the backhand out, and sometimes it can take a while to get, to get a rhythm against someone that has such different aspects to each stroke. Well, that feels like an appropriate way for Zheng Qinwen, 21 years of age, representing China at the United Cup for the first time, to clinch the opening set. Six games to one. Yeah, not particularly pretty reading here for Marketa Vondrosheva. Could certainly... Uh, do with winning a few more points on that first serve. Boyana, from where you are, how much was the 6-1 scoreline there attributable to Zhang being brilliant and how much to Von Derusheva not being at the races? Well, I think Von Derusheva made Zhang look pretty good out there in that first set, to be honest. She uh, didn't have much to hurt the racket of, of Zhang, so I think for her, this, these first couple of games are so crucial in terms of just trying to make a stance and trying to be a bit more aggressive. Yes, her game style is to get all those balls back, but you saw in those first stat statistics, she has not hit one rack, one winner of either that forehand or backhand side. So she needs to start creating something here. And I think that starts with a little bit more depth and a few more first serves into the court. Jill, would you like to see a bit more variety from Vondrosheva? That's what she has in her that's toolkit a, that others don't, That's right? exactly what I was going to say. Because, and sometimes it can be hard against someone that has such a power, powerful game off the ground to be able to change that up so easily. But she's capable of throwing in... I would start with the slice because you can slice very easily off a hard-hitting shot, and Vondrosheva can do that. So not not try and give her so much rhythm and you saw her try and use the drop shot incorporate that a little bit and when she has time i think she can 
throw that in as well. But yeah, somehow try and get Zhang out of her rhythm a little bit more. You know, some of that might even start with hitting a few more balls deep and hard through the middle and not giving Zhang the opportunity to open up the court. Yeah, she does seem to be a rhythm player, Zhang, doesn't she? You've got to at least try and disrupt her if you're Marquette of Androshova just now. It will be interesting to see what she can muster in this second set. Well, the Czech Republic aren't out of the United Cup if they lose this, but they're certainly on the back foot. It has been a dream start for China so far with Zhang Zhizhen beating Yuri Lahechka in the opening match of the day. A win for Zhang Qinwen would seal the tie for China, although uh, it could definitely still benefit the Czech Republic to win the doubles. But lots of tennis still to be played in this one. Great first point, closed really well on that first volley just to make sure it didn't drop too much. Caught it above the net, that's why she was able to get a lot of pace on that volley, set that up well. Better hitting from Von Drusha there? Yeah, much better. Those are the types of rallies she needs to have because I think the longer the point goes to me, it favors Von Drusha because I just feel like Jean's going to get the urge to want to go for a little bit more each ball. So for Von Drusha, if she can keep these rallies a little bit longer, I think that'll be effective for her. Too good. Scorcher of a return. Wow. You know, the beauty of this tournament is that you get to see players that you don't normally get to watch throughout the year. And for someone like Zhang, she has been so impressive today that she has not put a foot wrong. It just feels like she's reading the boundaries of a serve pretty well. I mean, the, those two returns back to back, she. Her first step was so quick to cover the serve. Well, that is a pretty limp way for Marketa Vondrosheva to squander her service at the start of this second set. It is a tough scene for Team Czech Republic just now. She's, uh, she's lolloping back to the team pod. She's about to discard her racket. I'm not sure what David Scotch can really say other than play a bit better. I I, you just have to keep <laughs> fighting. I mean, it was a similar situation. Yesterday with Bolta and Tom Lonovich, Bolter played exceptionally well, was pretty much teeing off on everything. And, you know, at that stage, you just got to say, OK, I know my opponent's playing really well. But if you just keep digging and digging, you never know when things can change. And but I have to say that last game, it was huge credit to Zhang because you felt like Von Drusva, there was a point, OK, I like she's starting to get her rhythm. And then all of a sudden, two massive returns just shut almost shut that down on that game. Yeah, she's the imposing figure out there just now, not the two-time Grand Slam finalist. She has a set and a break. She's got everything, power, accuracy. She's some talent. 
I haven't just even guessed right on that and had a play on that, but that heaviness on that forehand just made it tough to time that ball. I don't think she's lost a point off that first serve when it has gone in, Zhang. Commentator's curse. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were right. You, you were that right, point. Boyana, and you, you <laughs> deserve credit for that. She has ruined the stat, unfortunately, but you were absolutely right. Well, she made that backhand down the line look easy, and it, it wasn't from Von Drusva there. That was some, some nice skill from her. That'll feel good. That's the first point I really feel like she's added a little bit more pace off the ground, and, and that's what she needs to do that a little bit more often, was able to finally get Zhang in a defensive position. Flatten that, those last couple backhands out nicely. She'd love to get the break back here. It's just... Teeny opening, 15.30. Well, that slice from Von Drusha, but just asking a different question of Zhang Chin Wen. She, uh, she didn't do that well with the reply, but the point for Von Drusha is asking the question, and she now has two break points to level up this second set. Okay, this is more like it. The real Marquette of Andrusheva might just have stood up. It is uh, a gorgeous shot, that backhand drop shot, isn't it? We've been waiting for the variety in her game. And finally, this is the first game, really, that she's used that backhand slice and been able to have time to execute on the drop shot. And that's going to be huge moving forward. But... I think the one thing that changed that allowed her that extra time was she started chipping those returns back in play rather than trying to come over it so much. So at least that got her in the rally, chipped it deep in the court. Nice little angle from Von Drusheva. Good on her for, for the clear thinking to change things up in the way she is doing, because it must scramble your head when you step out there first match of the season and suddenly you're five love down. She's doing well here. Even her demeanor is starting to look different now, a little bit more walking around, a little bit more purpose out there, Von Drusova. A bit more pop on the first serve, different player. A 
in depth again from Zhang. She's just got to keep, keep plying her trade with that. with that huge second serve uh, uh, Andrew Siva. Well, you said it, Jill. The longer the rallies goes on, the more you favour Von Drusheva, and that is uh, proving to be absolutely wow. right just now. 2-1, Von Drusheva. So a very different complexion at this sit-down for Team Czech Republic to uh, at the previous sit-down when it was a pretty disconsolate-looking situation wasn't it as you say the body language is is night and day already it, it's crazy too because i i there was never a doubt in my mind that von Drusseva was going to find some form it was just about trying to be able to adjust with how quickly Zhang started this match she's she was almost flawless in the first three or four games to get a very quick lead and it just took a little time for Von Drusseva to be able to utilize so, so many of the tools that she has in her game. And, and now we're starting to see, I think her, her footwork has gotten a little bit better as well. And it's gotten a little bit sharper, which has helped. It is the first match of the season, of course. Rustiness, understandable. So lots more encouraging nods from David Scott to Team Czech Republic there. My Czech isn't up to much, but I do understand nods. And uh, that's a happier looking team pod than just a few minutes ago. And now for the first time, Zhang is finding herself behind in the set. So it would be interesting to see how she responds after having such an emphatic start in this match. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Biana. First time Zhang Chinwen has been under any threat whatsoever in this match. Fascinating to see how the young player responds now. Well, Marquez of Mondrosheva is doing everything that both of you were calling for just now. Better hitting from the ground, mixing in the variety as well. And even that drop shot, I mean, as well as she hits it, even that one had quite a bit of height to it, and, and Zhang had time on that ball, but she's not comfortable in that in that, necessary, that part of the court, that short part of the court. She wants to stay on the baseline, so even if it's not executed perfectly, I think it's a good play to try and bring her forward. That was a great serve. Just a lot of kick on that serve. It, 
Pondrusova a couple feet behind the baseline and it still got above her shoulders. Well, this really is a different von Drusheva now. That return game, it's uh, its the Czech player that's getting all the depth on and the more, return. And more so off the backhand side from von Drusheva. She's really starting to flatten that ball out and get a little bit more depth. So it's coming in hard and quick into the forehand of Zheng, which she's finding a little bit difficult at the moment. Well, she got up there better that time, Jill, but uh, Vondrojeva had all the answers. That is her kind of point, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah, and she, she follows her drop shot so well. I mean, with the type of drop shot that she hits, she's constantly very well aware of the options of the opponent and what part of the court she needs to cover. And she's, oh, like we mentioned a few times, always so good on the defense, was able to just get that out of the reach of Zhang. Big moments here. In terms of the Vondrosheva comeback, she was a set and a breakdown. This two points for a break to the check. And she doesn't need the second. There it is. A big turnaround in this match. 3-1 Vondrosheva. And uh, Zhang Chin Wen just asking umpire Mohamed Leoni for some tissues. to worry about, I don't think. <laughs> oh, she'll have to wait for her tissues. <laughs> Not the biggest serve, but that placement. Pretty yeah, much that, perfection. That was key. Um, and as soon as this happens with quite a few players, as soon as you start to feel like you're playing better and in the match, you can incorporate throughout your whole game. Now she's starting to serve better. First serve percentage is creeping up. It's definitely gaining some confidence out there of Andrusova. That's more like it, that reminiscent of first set Zhang Chinwen. Those are the kind of points that she wants to be playing for sure. Oh, these are the kind of points that she wants, just two shots, two or three shots where she can be aggressive because the longer the rally goes, the more opportunity Vondrusova is going to have to change it up, throw in all that variety. Jung saying, I'm still here. This one 
she struggles on a little bit getting enough spacing from that, that backhand corner. I like that she's looking for that forehand because that's where she can really attack the ball. But that particular shot, she's just not getting away from the ball enough. Just a couple extra steps. And the sound. <laughs> she, she heard you, Jill. <laughs> Sounds even better courtside. <laughs> I'm sure. It's like a crack, isn't it? Thunder crack. Still break point, though. Shake the fist from Von Drusheva. Oh, I was gutsy again, winning, going for a bigger second serve, just skidding through the court, causing Zhang to get slightly late. She's really starting to overplay that forehand. Zhang just seems to try and almost hit it too hard. She doesn't really need to. The way that she's been, in, been winning her points has been to almost set herself up so she can finish inside the court, but she's just starting to go for too much now that she's behind the baseline. Must have caught the back edge of the line, that serve. It's been far better serving from the Czech so far this set. And a point for a 4-1 lead. Well, I know who I'm picking in a drop shot off, that's for sure. <laughs> that is Marketa von Drusheva. There is such a clear pattern to this match now. Short points, Zhang, long points, von Drusheva. She leads 4-1. So we do have the trainer on court, but I don't think it's anything to be concerned about. I think she's just delivering uh, some tissues. Yeah, just a tissue delivery, nothing, uh, <laughs> nothing to worry yourselves about. So David Scotch with lots to say here. I'm guessing it's kind of keep doing what you're doing. This is this is going well now. I think, I think just some reminders of what's been working for her. I mean, Vondrusva knows what she has to do. I mean, she's done a great job of adding some different stuff to her game, and she's really gotten Zhang out of her rhythm. So it's just getting mental reminders about what to continue to do. Oreno, někdy se jí to povede, ale nějaký zkazí. 
It's great to see a player think on their feet out on a tennis court, isn't, isn't it? Not be afraid to, to change things up. I think a lot of the times, too, it's just getting back into a good mental space. I mean, the players know what they need, what they need to do most of the time, but sometimes you can lose track of yourself, especially when a first set goes as quickly as it did with Zhang winning that 6-1. And so a lot of times it's just having that mental boost from your coach, your teammates, just to get you back on track. Yeah, Yuri Lehechka looks a lot happier about life just now. He definitely would rather play doubles with second set Vondrusheva than, <laughs> than first set Vondrusheva, I think. They, uh, they'll be the doubles team to come out after this, and it will be uh, Zhang Zhizhen and Zhang Qinwen to team up for the first time. This is going to be a good little test, I think, for Zhang, because just recently, we talk about the quick rise that she's had in the past year or two. And one of the things that she said she's continuously trying to work on is her mentality and not be so result oriented. You hear that from a lot of players. They focus so much on wanting to win so badly, but just trying to stay in the present. And I think because she's lost her rhythm a little bit, it's important for her to tap into that. Right now, just a couple times when she's gotten that slice, it almost looks like she's really unsure what to do with that particular ball. And I, I think it's so important in those moments when you're not feeling as well as you did in that first set to really try and stay in the present moment. That's something that she's been really working on. a little lucky there, Zheng Chinwen. Not, a, not 10 out of 10 volleys, but she got the job done. And I guess just mixing things up a bit, it places a seed of doubt in the mind of her opponent about what she might throw at her next. 30 all. That's a good serve. From our position up here, we can see that the swerve that she had on that, very hard to control. Just a second double for Zhang, both of them coming uh, down that end. I'm feeling the pressure more on the second serve. I mean, right now, Zhang just winning 13% of her second serves when they've gotten into play. So definitely feeling a lot more pressure in this set off that second serve. Uh -huh. 
clipped the centre service line, did that one. Lovely delivery and a shake of the racket. This uh, could be an important game. Needs to keep in touching distance here, Zhang. Well, she took a little off that second serve, didn't she? Made sure of it, and uh, Andrejeva perhaps not expecting such an easy return. Got the job done, 4-2. Still have the break, Czech Republic, but she stemmed the flow in her opponent's direction. She likes that shot, doesn't she? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's so important for Zhang to have that total commitment when she approaches the ball. Any sort of doubt with the way she plays, that's where the unforced errors come, like that slight hesitation. And this one, she did such a good job of having that decisiveness on that last shot. Again, it's one of those longer rallies, isn't it? And as soon as you go over about four or five shots, you instantly favor Von Drusheva. Yeah. Because Von Drusheva has, has found that rhythm now, and she's not, she's feeling more comfortable being able to use that drop shot and pick and choose what shot time she wants to utilize that. You can understand why Zhang is wanting to overpower her a little bit because she doesn't want to get into these lo longer rallies, doesn't want to give Andrusova that opportunity. The difference also has been, you know, when Vondrusova was down and out in that first set, she somehow found a way to get back into the match, whereas Zhang at the moment, she's finding it hard to find plan B. It's all just plan A and it's not working. She was hoping that would be uh, called long, Von Drusheva, but no such luck. And this backhand was uh, lethal from Zhang, just able, she creates that angle so well on the backhand side and catches Von Drusheva so far back and love the fact that she added a little bit more spin to that last forehand, just dipped back down into the court. Fierce cry from Von Drusheva. Good to see that fighting spirit come out. Another unforced for Zhang, and another game going the way of the Czech Republic. 5-2, Von Drojeva leads. Bojana, from where you're sitting, I know it's very difficult to compare like with like because different spins, different conditions, but is Zhang Xinwen as big a hitter as anyone on uh, on the WTA tour just now. Well, it absolutely seems like it. And it's interesting to watch this second set unfold because it, to me, it seems as if the more down and out she is, the harder she's trying to hit the ball. It's as if she's a bit confused 
as to what to do, as opposed to Von Drusova, who, when things weren't going her way, she was throwing in a few more slices, a few more heavier balls. She was starting to make a few more first serves. But Zhang hits a beautiful ball, and when it goes in, it's, it's world class. But when it's not going her way, she's just not able to find something else to get herself back into the second set. Yeah, there's a, there's a very famous tennis co commentator who's got a, a very well-known theory about winning ugly and, uh, and that being the key to success. And that, that is something we're yet to see from Jung Shinwen, isn't it? She's, she's very young. She absolutely can develop that plan B. But absolutely, yeah. And, and that's so much a, p a part of tennis anyway is the mentality of, that's what I was saying, to have to dig deep and to, and to fight, but having that mentality because I would say in a tennis player's career, I mean, you can ask a lot of them, and I've, I've asked a lot of them how many times they feel like they've played their absolute best in their entire career, and the career can span 15 to 20 years. And I think most of them, it would be less than 10 fingers, <laughs> they would say, that they played absolute perfection is what I'm saying. Like, they just didn't even have to think about anything. So a lot of it is about you're not going to always play your best, but you have to find a way. Raise the floor. Not yeah. push up the ceiling. <laughs> or do both. That won't hurt either. Serving to stay in the set. Kath, I think you're right in saying we tend to forget how young Zhang is, 21 years old, Von Drusva three years older than her. So you can imagine what another three years on tour could do for Zhang in terms of that experience, learning about how to win ugly. Nothing ugly about that hitting. That's lovely stuff. And of course, she's she's working with Pera Reba, a man who coached, along with others, Coco Goff to a Grand Slam, a Grand Slam that by Goff's own admission, she doesn't feel like she played her best tennis in any of those seven matches. So she's got the right people around her. <laughs> lovely touch. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's an, that was such valuable information to have, too, to have. I mean, we spoke about how she was with Perry, but previously they stopped working at Roland Garros. This year, obviously, reunited after Coco and Perry was split at the end of this year. But to have that valuable information of knowing what Coco's mindset was like to be able to get through such a tough moment, those, those pressure situations in your home country. I mean, there's a lot to deal with for someone so young. It's like she sent him on secondment to, <laughs> to coach a Grand Slam champion. Well, that's why I said this is also a good test for Zhang, because th these are the moments that you can learn the most about yourself. Right? When your opponent has all of a sudden out of the blue made you feel very uncomfortable, giving you some different challenges, and that's where when your weaknesses are exposed, that's where, where you learn the most. Oof. And for me, I feel like Zhang, one of the areas that has stood out to me so far this match, I mean, she played an amazing first set, but the thing that stood out to me where she could really improve is that touch when she's been brought forward on the drop shot. She doesn't quite have that feel of having that nice small drop shot touch. She always goes hard and she struggled with that particular shot.
Well, if you want to know what Marketa von Drusheva is all about, just watch that point, because that was absolute trademark von Drusheva. Yeah, it was incredible. Again, the defense, just knowing exactly what court, side of the court she needs to cover and just kept Zhang on her toes throughout this entire rally. And Zhang had opportunities to put that ball away and <laughs> just wasn't able to, to get it done. Just good hustle from von Drusheva. And Zhang's taking her time. She's taking a lot of deep breaths now. Yeah, good call, Boyana. So she's taken the time violation and now just taking an extra moment to use those tissues that she uh, <laughs> requested a few games ago. She looked to be in the driving seat in this game, Zhang, but uh, there's been yet another turnaround, and it is a first set point for Marketa von Drusheva and the Czech Republic. And that's a tough way to concede the set, but it is a set that Von Drosheva very much earned. From a set and a break down, she's turned this one around 6-2, second set, and we go into a decider. Yeah, the real Marketa von Drosheva really did stand up there. A completely different story to set number one. Oh, she's still, um, yeah, I mean, she completely changed her style of game and completely got Zhang caught off guard in that second set. Started serving a lot better. That first serve percentage really rose for von Drusseva, which had a lot to do with how she was able to play a little bit better throughout that entire second set, but she got Zhang extremely uncomfortable and got Zhang to the point where she wasn't quite sure how to construct a point well enough to be able to get the advantage quite a bit in that second set. And what we have here is Zhang Chinwen just leaving the court for a, a comfort break. She's taking a bag with her there, so presumably a change of clothes is in order. It is, it is hot out there, Boyana, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is, I mean. The sun's been consistently out, and in Perth, the longer the day gets, it actually gets quite warm. So, you know, some some of these conditions the players aren't used to. It does take a couple of weeks to really enjoy the weather, I suppose. Some players like it, some players don't. But not a bad move from Zhang, just to reset and try and get herself going now for this deciding set. All smiles with Team Czech Republic. Yuri Hechka just uh, standing up there. I wonder at what point he will um, go backstage to prepare for the doubles. He'd love it to be a live doubles match in terms of this tie, relying on Von Drosheva to win this deciding set, which uh, would you say, Jill, she's in pole position to do just now? I mean, she's definitely got the momentum, that's for sure. And now she knows exactly what she needs to do to make Zhang feel extremely uncomfortable. I can understand why Hedgeco doesn't want to leave. I think it would be hard to not want to be out there supporting. How do you think you would have found it being a, being a supporter? It looks incredibly it's fun, but draining as well. Incredibly fun, is that what you said? Fun, it is but fun. draining. Yeah, because you want to be out there to 
to show your support and obviously the, the players know that you have to do your job to have to prepare for for the mixed if you're playing the mixed doubles but I find it extremely nerve wracking. I find it way more nerve wracking than playing a match is watching your compatriots compete and really trying to root them on. But yes, it is it is exhausting as well because you can get there's a lot of emotions involved. You can get very into the match and want to stay out there. So it can be tiring. And uh, yeah, sometimes the, the players looking over towards the, the pod for, for an energy boost, you've got to you've got to bring the right energy yeah. at the right time, haven't you? And I think this this is the United Cup brings a very different kind of pressure playing for your country. It's very different than when you're out there playing an individual tournament on your own, which you do the majority of the year. But playing for your country brings a whole different other kind of pressure. And especially with teammates and coaches watching you on the sideline now, Verduso would have had experience with that playing Billie Jean King Cup. And But still, it doesn't happen that often during the year or so. Sometimes it can take a little while to get used to those different nerves. Most of them do find it such a nice change, though, don't they? Because it is it is such an individual sport. I, I guess all players get lonely sometimes out there on tour. Very lonely sport. And if you have that feeling of teammates every now and then, it must must really help. It's probably why the entourage is growing every year. <laughs> so it's not so lonely. Yes, we're moving slowly <laughs> towards top players having an omelet chef <laughs> and a, a private reflexologist, aren't we? Yeah, when you see them all at breakfast, the entourages are proliferating by the day, that is for sure. Do we have Zhang Chinwen back on court yet, Boyana? No, we don't. We're still waiting for her to get back, although her team captain and her teammates are all sitting there waiting in anticipation. There's about two minutes left on the stopwatch. So we'll wait and see. I don't think it'll be too far away. Yeah, of course, Team China have the luxury of already having the men's singles win on the board. So regardless of the outcome of this match, they will still have the chance to win the tie in the mixed doubles. Pretty fascinated to see those two teams in mixed doubles. I mean, on paper, Vondrosheva should be a good doubles player. She's got good dexterity, hasn't she? Good variety. I think it's going to be a really fun match to watch. Yeah, and, and the, the power of Lahechka and Zhang and Zhang. <laughs> I think it's going to be really fun to watch. And Vondrosheva looks ready and raring to go. It's an incredible dynasty, isn't it, that Czech women's tennis has? I mean, Vondrosheva, just at this moment in time, not even delving back into the past. Von Drosva and, and Karolina Mukova, of course, the, the French Open finalists, they held from the same club. Yeah. Incredible. I, the, I, yeah, the history of the Czech tennis players goes very, very deep. And they just, I feel like they just keep producing more and more year in and year out. But it's about having those role models, I think, is, is so important. And the, the Czechs in particular, consistently say that. I mean, Lehechka in the background, he had Thomas Burdich helping him as a mentor for a little bit as well. So the respect they have for their former compatriots runs deep. And Zhang especially has spoken about how Li Na has inspired her and how ins inspirational she's been to so many young kids back in China. So I think having those role models is so important. It's great to hear when players have a, a real appreciation of the sports history, isn't it? I was listening to Beatrice Adaj Myers speak recently about Maria Bueno right. and the effect that, that she's had on her career, even though Maria Bueno's playing history would be way before Beatrice would have been born. She can still understand sort of the footsteps that she's walking in. And that's something that Billie Jean King is always hammering home, isn't it? You've got to know your history. And this sport has such a wonderful history. Why wouldn't you want to know it? So we have two tennis players and a deciding set to look forward to, which Wan Zhong Xinwen is ready. Von Drosheva will open up. Good way to start, in my opinion, though, <laughs> right out of the gates, going for her, what's worked for her throughout that second set. Okay. 
I just pulled up slightly on that forehand, Von Drusevet. First ace for Bon Joshua to save the first of two break points. And that's a great way to save the second. Commanded stuff <laughs> on Von Drosevet. She's, uh, she's going for the towel quite a lot here, Zhang Chinwen. She's just in front of us and definitely looks slightly more sluggish than at the start of the match. I just got slightly distracted there, Von Drusfo, with something. Um, I lost the rhythm a little bit on the serve. She's got a, a very good miffed reaction face, Von Drusfo. <laughs> and she's facing a third break point here. Strange game from Vondrushova there. Seemed to back off the ball on that forehand. She's not happy. It was a loose game, wasn't it, from Vondrushova? Almost a repeat of the first set where she was hitting a lot of those forehands in the net, wasn't creating a lot of pace. Almost as if, you know, she tried that drop shot in that very first point and then it didn't go her way and then she just immediately backed off. I felt like she almost got distracted by something. I mean, that's what, to me, caused the, the double fault and then just hadn't necessarily let it go in that last point. Possibly uh, a bit irritated by the time that Zhang Chinwen spent off court, it completely within the rules. She was back within, uh, within the allotted time, but it can change momentum breaks like that at the end of set so we will see there's uh, been quite a few change-ups in what the win predictor thinks over the course of this match tough one to call right now New racket for Von Drusheva.
Good footwork from uh, Jung there. Good control yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. Even got a little tangled, I felt, on that backhand. Felt like she was in good position, and all of a sudden it was in her body a little bit more than she anticipated. Used her hands well to be able to control that backhand. <laughs> yeah. It's just that ball clipping the net, changed the tra trajectory of the shot. Looked like Zhang wanted to come over that one with some topspin and had to change her mind, had to improvise quickly. Just couldn't control that slice. She had a moment of hope there before the call came, but it definitely was just wide. Get some confirmation here, just to put the mind at ease, yep. to Zhang, she's really looking to get herself ahead in this third set, and that's where she likes to be inside that baseline where she's finishing off her shots. She's able to create that depth and then really step inside and put away those shots. So great effort from the 21-year-old, really showing Von Drusva she's not going anywhere. But to your point earlier, Boyana, where you said she, in the second set, may be trying to force a little bit too much on the forehand, much better margin on those last couple of forehands as well. Well, this is great positivity from Zheng just now. We were a little worried about her when she returned from her bathroom break. She looked just a little bit sluggish, perhaps, but body language all good. Baseline game all good. Well, that's one of her best shots, in my opinion, that backhand cross court. I mean, you can tell even the way she approaches the ball that she feels confident on that side and consistently can hit her spot flatten that ball angle off the court. Needs to get on the board in this deciding set, Von Drusva. She knows how quickly a set can get away from her, just like it did in that opener. She definitely needed those tissues. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Just going to it almost after almost yeah. every point. Oh. 
This is just what the doctor ordered for Von Drusheva. If she can close out here, just put a dampener on the Jung momentum. like that option to just go on the return hard right down the center of the court as long as it has that depth it's great return takes away the angle for the opponent Just when you think it's going to be a nice quick service game, just gets away from it. There it is, though. She's on the board in the deciding set. Still a breakdown. Zhang leads 2 1. It's a funny old game, isn't it, Jill? Because she looked so confident in that second set. Looked like she had a plan, knew exactly how to execute it, and it seems suddenly frail in this decider. I, I mean, I think she still knows what she needs to do and, and the type of game that got her so easily back into this match by winning that second set. But I, ju I do, do feel like that early break, it was just about her losing focus for a moment. I don't know what happened. She was looking in the crowd and had had a moment, a little chat with Mohamed Liani in the chair. We couldn't quite hear, but she, she definitely got a little bit distracted about something. But that was a, a very good service game, got quickly up to 40 love and was able to get on the board. dostal se z toho druhého servisu pod tlak trošku do něj. Just the one break though. And uh, Zhang has been vulnerable on serve at points throughout this match, obviously particularly that second set. A lot of aborted uh, ball tosses <laughs> for Zhang Chinwen. And uh, Bojana, perhaps you can confirm, but down there at court level, it doesn't look that windy from here. Oh, no, there's no wind at all. It's just pure heat. So in terms of... I know, but she's taking so long. I was just listening into to Von Drews for having a word to the chair umpire about the amount of time that Zheng's taking between points and games. So something to keep an eye on as well. But just touching on the point, there is no wind, so it is really warm out on court. And it just seems that Zheng is taking a lot more time, especially in this third set, just to compose herself. Yeah, Vondrushva made her point pretty firmly there, didn't she? And a reminder that Zhang is already on uh, on one time violation. So if she gets another, that'll be a lost first serve. Very short second serve from Zhang, just in the center of the service box. Good job from Drusva. She got up to that pretty quickly to take it early.
Moving oh, up and down the court is not her specialty, is it, Jung? I mean, she got there in good time, but just the dexterity. I mean, I think she's getting there and and uh, being able to produce her shot, but just isn't quite being able to put Von Drusova in a, in a defensive position. She's just not quite sure exactly where to go. And Von Drusova had the answer. This is the perfect shot to hit. That high backhand volley is one of the most difficult to execute in the game. You know, after every single drop shot that Von Drusva plays, the, the next shot is the lob. So if Zheng can notice the second ball and as soon as she gets to that drop shot, start moving back because she hasn't really been passed at all. She's just being lobbed. So if you're Zheng, you'd almost have to anticipate once she gets to the front or once she closes in on the net to start moving back and expect that lob. That anticipation, Boyana, those sort of tennis instincts about what shot's coming next, can you learn that? Absolutely. It just takes time, and it's easier said when you're sitting courtside and you can see the patterns, because when you're on court, there's so many things that are going on. You're dealing with the pressure, you're dealing with the conditions, the court, the fans. There's a lot going on, especially for someone that's still so young. But also, if Shang can you know, work on improving that shot when she is coming towards the net and, and possibly stop Fonderusa, you know, getting to the shot and using the lob, that also will play, be advantageous for Zhang. It's amazing to think for someone that's, you know, top 20 in the world, there's still, so you know, a few, few things to work on. You can only imagine how good or how, how much better she will be once she adds a few more strings to her bow. She was uh, dicing with the devil on that second serve, but brilliant in the end, caught the line. That's a hole on the board for Zhang. And the two game lead is restored and uh, so is Von Drusheva's miffed expression, which she does so well. off that return, just recognizing that Von Drews felt a little bit rattled, so really doing a good job of being solid on that return, Zhang. Well, this game's got a very first set feel about it. Bit of a horror show from Von Drusheva on those three points. Smart tennis from Zhang, three break points. This is an e easier break as you'll ever see. And it's now a double break in the decider. Zhang and China lead 4-1. Well, this is just one of the uh, beautiful spots to enjoy in Western Australia. This is Kimberley. Bungle Bungles, Mitchell Falls, a strong historical indigenous culture in this part of Western Australia. 
This must be tough to watch for people in uh, people in colder climes, <laughs> mustn't it? Wow, it's just so cool. I mean, every every scenery that we've seen, they've been so different as well. So much, so much uh, different things to see in this part of the world. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a wonderful place to be. Everyone's so friendly and welcoming and just delighted to have this tournament here in Perth. Such a treat. This guy's having a good time. What you can't see at home is that uh, bongo cam is happening in the stadium, which is where they superimpose bongo drums. There we go. So just imagine that this man is playing some uh, virtual reality bongo drums, <laughs> and that's what we're seeing Nine. here in the stadium. <laughs> and what a good job he's doing too. Pretty in rhythm, I would say. Maybe. Yeah, that is that is one of the better efforts that we've seen with bongo cam, that's for sure. So, 4-1, double break, two holds, and it's a, a win on debut for Zhang Chinwen and for China in their opening tie of this United Cup. Will it be that straightforward? certainly seemed to find found her range again Jang hasn't she she's getting that depth she's getting the pace and she's really pushing Vondarusa back behind that baseline We know just a few moments ago wasn't so happy with how much time Zhang was taking in between points, but I almost feel like she could do that a little bit. These points are going by pretty quickly. I feel like she can try and maybe just slow things down, take a little bit more time. I mean, you do have to play to the server's rhythm, but she has four or five, six more seconds that she could take just to try and regroup a little bit better. Took some pace off that serve. I think Von Drosha was caught out by it. Yeah, I mean, regardless of whether she's she's got a point about the time Jung's taking, she's she's letting it get to her, mm. which yeah, exactly, yeah, it's costing her. Yeah, it looked a little slow to that ball, Von Drosha. One way traffic just now. A love hold and a 5 1 lead in the decider. The win predictor, Jill, knew something we didn't at the start <laughs> of this set. Because after the second set, the momentum felt firmly with Von Drusheva. I think it actually increased towards Zhang's side mm. as well. It went to the 64%. That's why AI is coming for all our jobs. Seems that way, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we need to stop it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll stop saying what a good job the women predictor's done. <laughs> Finally, a point for Vondrusheva. It's been a while. Oh. 
Well, she's feeling it again, isn't she? That is her favourite shot. She loves to tee off on that inside-out forehand. And when she connects like that, it's, it's a dream. It's a very well-constructed point as well, because didn't go hard on every single ball of the first two, just looking for that depth to be able to set up something where she could attack. She's two points away from the match. After a while in a rally, she just can't resist going for it, can she, Zhang? Has to unleash. What? What? A hang of the head from Von Drusheva. Because it's match point to China and to 21-year-old Jung Chin Wen. What a deciding set this has been from her. On her debut match in the United Cup, her first match of the 2024 season, what could the 2024 season hold for this young woman? She is full of so much promise. She has secured a win for Team China on their United Cup debut. What a performance, Jill. It was very uh, up and down, actually, but the way Zhang started was incredible. I mean, she, I think she showed what that she's capable of when she starts so strong, is able to get on top of the match very quickly. I mean, that's not easy to hit the ball through of and that's what she did in that first set. Then she had to find some chat find some challenges that Van Drusseva threw at her in that second set, started having to face a little bit more of that variety, and we were wondering how she was able to find plan B, but I think her mentality really shone in that third set. That's where she had to dig deep, not let those challenges get the better of her, and she came up really strong in that third set. Yeah, very topsy-turvy score line, but on balance, Jun Chin Wen the very worthy winner. And Moketa von Drozheva just looks a bit bereft, really. I think this might be a conversation about whether she fancies playing doubles or not. She's down to play with Yuri Lehechka. I think it would be good for her to maybe take that challenge just to get another match. The start of the season can always be tough when you haven't had matches yet, just getting in back into that rhythm. So I think it might be a good play for her to try and jump back out into the court. Yeah, a win's a win, right? And if she gets to walk away from today with a win, then uh, that can't hurt at all. And of course, a win would also very much help Team Czech Republic's hopes of qualifying for the quarterfinals. Let's hear from our winner, though. She's with Todd. Ladies and gentlemen, what a performance. Quinn, you must be very, very happy with that win to start a new season. Well, yeah, you know, the first match of the year is always difficult. Of course, we are not in the next year yet. But, yeah, I'm so happy for win today, especially when I play for my teams. I always try to give my best, and with the team, is even more extra. You know, and also today it's really hot, so it's not easy for all the players to perform. And yeah, I want to say thank you to all the fans who are supporting me here today. I see the Chinese crowd. You just defeated the Wimbledon champion. How would you rate that in the wins in your career so far? 
Well, I think it's just a normal match for me that uh, I need to perform as my tennis. Doesn't matter who I face to, and actually, it's what I did because I know once I can really play my tennis, I always have good competition with everyone. Win or lost, we will see during the match. And I'm really happy that today is me. I won the match, and of course, she's she's playing well on court. But generally, I'm just really happy and excited to win for my team. <laughs> yeah. You've done a great job. Your team, you've got that. You got yourself the victory today. But as we look to 2024, do you like to talk about the goals of what you hope to achieve in the new year? Uh, yes. Last year in 2023, in the beginning, people asked me, and I remember I said, "Yeah, I'm gonna make a top 10." And for the moment, one year passed, I'm still not there yet. So I will keep the goal first. Uh, in 2023, and uh, let's see if I can make it. I just want to go day by day and match by match and enjoy my tennis here. You are very close, and with wins like this that you've started today, 2024 looks like being another good one for you. Congratulations on your performance, and well done to Team China on their victory today. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, it does feel like the only way is up for Zheng Chinwen just at the moment. It's going to be very fun to see, Jill, just how high she can go. Oh, I like that she has those goals. It's so important, I think, and it, it, numerous players have spoken about how it's helped them throughout the year. And I like that she's keeping that same goal. She is very, very close. And we, we spoke about how the year that she had and we thought she was going to even rise in 2024 and you can see that I think just the challenge that she went through today that those small challenges only make you stronger and stronger. You can see how much she said for almost every answer how much she loves playing for her team. We spoke about you know how much that means to her play for your country and she handled the pressure well today. Yeah, and we should get the chance to see her play for her country once again today. She's due to come out with Zhang Zhijian her teammate very shortly and if she can produce what she did in the first and third sets of that match we just watched then they'll be in in good shape in the doubles i would have thought yeah and throughout the course of this match she served pretty well i mean won a lot of first serve points 76 percent and i think also created so many break point chances winning half of those but that adds pressure throughout the course of a match as well. So did a good job of just staying aggressive and being able to thrive in the last moments and take on that challenge. Yeah, some soul searching for Marketa Vondrusheva to do. We expect it to come out in the doubles alongside Yuri Lehechka very shortly. Indeed, there's plenty still to play for there, but for now it's a win for Zhang Chimwen and for China.